All right, so the first thing you will want to do is you will want to get a splicer Intel key and put it in this device that will deactivate all of the lasers around it to get to the very first area of the game. I will, I'm about to show you what a splicer Intel key looks like. You get these from killing brood mothers in the play glands. Brood mothers are hive wizards, yellow bar hive wizards that spawn in the play glands. And they, whenever you kill them, they'll drop a splicer key or a splicer intel relay for you. Now, once you use that splicer intel relay, you can go, you can go into the very first area you ever spawn inside the cosmodrome. There will be thrall there, and there will be a massive catch in the back. What you will want to do first off is you will want to work your way to that catch. Now, if you have a three of coins, this is a wise choice because once you get to that catch, there is a possible chance there will be a massive pilot servitor about the size of Sepix Prime, but it looks just like a normal servitor. So if you have a three of coins, it can drop an exotic for you, but you will have to deal with a lot of ads going up into this area. As you can see here, I popped, I believe I used the three of coins right here, just in case there was a pilot servitor, but sadly, as you will see in a minute, there was no pilot servitor. So, but just finish off all your ads. You'll have you'll have an, a wizard at the top of the Emma in the inside the catch. You have to deal with that wizard. It should it's right on on the screen. It's to your right there. You have to deal with that wizard. As you can see, I didn't have any heavy ammo, so I could so it took me a little longer to deal with this wizard, and it killed me. But thankfully, my fire team I was with was able to kill this wizard. But once you kill the wizard, you will want to be you will want to head to the back right of the room, as I will do here in a minute. So you want to head to the back right of the room, to where there is this chest. As you can, I'm, I'm waiting for my friends to catch up because they haven't got it yet. But you'll be waiting well, as soon as I get here. You will want to open this chest, and as you can see, it gave me a Kavostov schematic. Now in this schematic, you'll have to bring it to Shiro Four at Fell Winter's Peak. Once you do that. Bring it to Shiro Fort Fell Winter's Peak. He will give you another part of the quest, which is to collect man ten, ten, 10 manuals and three weapon parts for this. You can get manuals by killing either fallen splicers, devil splicers, or normal fallen. I have got them from both. They do not drop from hive, only fallen based creatures. But you will want to collect 10 manuals and three weapon parts. The three weapon parts are scattered, there's three of them, they are scattered across the Cosmodrome. And I will show you the locations of each of these. All right, so the first weapon part is located in the refinery. Go inside the refinery in the Cosmodrome as if you were going to the blast area where the Fallen Walker would be located in the Sepix Prime Strike. Once you're going down this certain hallway, as we take a left and there will be a bunch of fallen enemies, you will run across these two lights and the weapon part is right next to them. So you just wanna go to those two lights and pick up that weapon part. Alright, the second weapon part is located in the blast area where the Fallen Walk would be in the Sepix Prime Strike. You want to go over here, there'll be this little ledge I just shot at. You want to pick up the weapon part, and then you are good to go to go grab the third weapon part. And finally, the third weapon part will be located in Dock 13, the area where you, f where you found your Arcadia class jump ship in the base vanilla game. Once you clear out all these ads, you will want to head by to the stairs inside Dock 13. And once you're by these stairs, the weapon parts are under the stairs. So once you see those weapon parts, stand by them, pick them up. Then you are finally ready for one of the last steps in this quest. And as the final step in this quest, you will want to go back to Felwinter's Peak, the Iron Temple social space. Talk to, he to Shiro 4. He will give you the quest. Um, Kvostov Rising. Once you grab this quest, head back and do the quest. You will run across this devil captain, splicer captain I mean. You will want to kill him. Once you have killed him, you will get the Kvostov. As you can see here, I am about to kill him. He is very, very close to dead. And once I kill him, he's about one shot away. He is now dead and boom, there you go guys. The new exotic Kvostov. This is the most customizable weapon in the whole Destiny game. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Remember, if you liked it and if this helped you, to leave a like, guys. And I hope I can see all of you Guardians in the next briefing. This is Classified Commander, signing off.